I can remember um, years ago trying to teach some Stockhausen and trying to explain why he felt compelled to, to range widely all over the keyboard. And students and everybody else were saying, well, that's, you know, anybody can do that, it's just random notes. So I said, well, what, what, what is this? And then I played. Eventually, one student put up their hand. I said, yes. And she said, that sort of sounds like happy birthday. And I said, you're right. And it was. Simply spread out all over the keyboard. So it was an attempt to show how composers can use register, uh, sometimes taken to an extreme. You know, Schoenberg, his opus 11, you know, often taught as um, a piece to introduce the idea of atonality. course, the first initial reaction from the students was, well, that just sounds like chaotic music. And um, so then I took it and I made a few little adjustments, very slight adjustments, um, as follows. doing was just taking chord, changing by one little note, changing this to this, so suddenly you have that anchoring G major triad. And the point was to show that Schoenberg had taken familiar triads and just bent them a little bit. It again was a kind of way to help the students get over the hurdle of this unfamiliar, distant, sort of intimidating music and allow them to get into the the mindset of a Schoenberg and to, and to try to go to the next step, which was to ask the question and try to answer it. You know, why would a composer in 1909 <clears throat> do this? Why would a composer decide that we don't need triads anymore? You know, we're going to explore something, something a little different. Uh, the pianist Andre Watts was once uh, teaching um, one of his students a Chopin piece, and she was having difficulty in asking, you know, how can I learn this? And, Watts said, it's very simple. You use any and all means necessary. And so it is with, with teaching this music. Uh, you, you try certain things to get through to the students. And if one thing doesn't work, you try something else. There usually is a way to make the music come alive and to open their minds and ears a little bit so that they have a kind of curiosity about it. And once they have that curiosity, then that leads to great teaching moments.